genius. You can bet against the roller, with the roller. You can bet independently of the roller. You can join the game halfway through and bet some other way. It's ridiculous, a ridiculous game. I, I had a thought riding up the hill this morning about craps, actually. Uh, we're about to, we're about to, I'll talk about it in place where it makes sense to talk about it. But theoretically speaking, these games can go on forever. And, and here's why. Let's, let's discuss. For a pass line bet, What's that really mean again? Oh, I don't know what it means. I don't know why it's called a pass line. It means, well, here's how you win, right? How do you win? How do you win on a pass line bet? No, oh, you know. It's on the quiz. Roll a seven. You roll a seven off the bat. Oh, yeah. Oh. Roll a seven first. Or an 11. Or roll an 11 first. Now, now if you don't do that, if you roll snake eyes, three or twelve, you're done. Then you lost your ante. That's that's crapping out. That's crapping out. Although two snake eyes is the one that has the, the kind of like, you know, uh, 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 I can't think of the word I'm thinking of right now. Snake eyes. Yeah, never mind. Not important. You, you crap out two, two, three or twelve. But how else can you win? This is where craps is genius. How else can you win? And the other numbers. Roll, roll. a point. Now what are the points? There's only six of them. Four, five, six, eight, nine, or ten. Twice before rolling seven. seven. That's what makes the game sheer genius right there. Twice before rolling a seven. And this is why the game can go on for a very long period of time. Suppose, for example, you roll an eight on your opening roll. And then you roll snake eyes, and then you roll box cars, and then you roll three, and then you roll snake eyes and box cars and three and nine and ten. I mean, if you roll snake eyes in the point roll, it doesn't matter. It's like it doesn't. The snake eyes only matters on the first roll. Box cars only matters on the first roll. Eleven only matters on the first roll. Three only matters on the first roll. If you roll them at any other time, it's a wasted roll. The roll gets thrown away. Does that make sense? So there's only two numbers that matter if you've rolled one of these six. And those two numbers are that number and <coughs> seven. seven. Yeah. So that's what's genius about this calculation. Okay, now some of these we know the answer to already. What's the chance of rolling a seven off the bat? We figured this out yesterday, didn't we? Six out of 36. It's six out of 36, right? Remember that? Remember they had, we had the chart up on the board with all the outcomes? It's six in 36. We'll keep it out of 36 to make the math a little bit easier. How about an 11 off the bat? Oh, geez. So there's two and 36. There's two. Remember we had the dice yesterday? There's two. There's five and six. Six and five. Yes? And I believe, I think, 11's called yo or yo-yo. I believe. You can actually bet. If you look at that, that, that little table on the quiz, I think there's a yo on there. I could be wrong. Don't pass bar. Five for a Oh, there's the payouts for, uh, for seven or for the hard way. No, yo's not on here. I guess that's not universal language. Four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. There they go. Why is six and nine spelled out? Oh, because they're upside downs of each other. It might be confusing go. if you're depending on where you're standing on the table. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. <laughs> oh, that's clever. I guess the order isn't important though. All right. <laughs> this is confusing as hell. I love this. Pays double. Field bets. Pay double. See, forget all that. Let's put it down. <laughs> it's too easy to get sidetracked with other. But that's why this is genius. It's perfect for ADHD people like me. It sucks me right in. Now, here's the question. What's the chance of winning on this iteration? And this is freaking awesome. This is freaking awesome. Because there are six different ways you can win, aren't there? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can roll, roll a four twice. Or a five twice. Or dot, 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 a ten twice. And this, this calculation is pure mathematical genius. I want to I kind of walk Mel go. Go ahead, isn't that a question? Are you, sure? my own question are, are you sure? Okay, excellent, excellent. <laughs> what about the eight and nine? I, I just put dot, dot, oh, dot, because I didn't want to write them all out. We're, we're going to account for them on this board over here, Frankie. Thank you for that question, fantastic.